And as you know, Local 4 has adopted a birds, bees, and butterflies initiative trying to get folks interested in saving pollinating insects that help create our food supply. That community has grown rather quickly, but we are not alone. Paula Tutman is live in Utica now with a look at how big business is protecting the environmental big three. Paula? Hey, Sandra. So I'm along the Clinton uh, River watershed, and I have discovered gold. Take a look at this. When you pierce it like that, and milk comes out, you know that is milkweed growing wild. This is the only thing monarchs uh, can survive on, and I've seen monarchs in the area. This grows wild, but now more than ever, so many of us are realizing that we just can't coexist. Mother Nature needs our help to survive. And so lots of really big businesses have been driving the bandwagon, honestly, before so many of us even jumped on it. Do you see the little tongue? Yeah. That's called the proboscis. And that is how they drink out of the flowers. At the Edsel and Eleanor Ford House in Gross Point Shores, the history of auto pioneers is mixed with a pioneering spirit of saving the planet. Six hives. Beehives, a butterfly house, a tribute garden to attract the so-called high value pollinators like bees and butterflies. We also have our 87 acres, which really helps um, one major threat to our pollinators is habitat loss. So our large property does uh, provide habitats for our butterflies and our bees and even our bats. <laughs> If you're a big fan of the beneficial pollinators, your big three would be considered birds, bees, and butterflies. But in the metro Detroit area where the behemoths of business run the global economy and opinion, DTE is all about lights, but it's also about lightning bugs. This is our bioswale. It's all native Michigan plants. So it's great food for not only caterpillars, but adult butterflies as well. With professional biologists on staff, the mammoth, conglomerate is actually creating plans and proactively looking for ways to create a natural footprint. Packaging those efforts in an easy to find way is Motor City's National Heritage Area. And we tell the story of how tinkers became titans, about how labor and industry changed manufacturing worldwide. They are part of the National Park Service and they've created a pledge for businesses, small and large, to promise to look for ways to help the environment. We were surprised to find that many of our major industrial partners, Ford Motor Company, DTE, General Motors, were already doing some major things within their own corporations. And we just sort of codified that by having them sign the pledge that says not only locally in the Michigan area, but you know across their, their companies. Right there is the queen. We're not gonna hold the queen because we gotta keep her really safe. At Argent Tape and Label in Plymouth, saving pollinators was written into the master business plan this year. They started with two beehives and in the last week have done what's necessary to become a registered monarch way station, which means they will actually be tracking and tagging monarchs in the fall as they head to Mexico to complete their migration. I think this is really forward thinking and I think that you have to have a real love of nature. Business is tough and you really have to be able to run your business, but you have to have the vision to create something bigger than yourself. Yeah, you know, this is bigger than ourselves. So take a look at that. That is why it is called milkweed. Come join us. Plenty of room on this bandwagon. In fact, there's some activities this weekend. Saving our pollinators event tomorrow starting at 11 at the Outdoor Adventure Center on Atwater in Detroit. And of course, the big pollinator palooza, which is the following weekend. It's the first weekend in August at the Ford House. And please join us on Friends of the Birds, Bees and Butterflies Facebook page where we're exchanging information and learning ourselves how to help Mother Nature. Sandra? I like how you said that. Pollinator palooza. Thank you, Paula. Pollinator palooza. <laughs>